Community leaders and lawmakers from the North Country puckered up this past week for a great cause. A way to thank those who donated thousands of dollars to the United Way who got to watch the dignitaries plant a big kiss on Alice the cow. Alice is a four-year-old Holstein here at the Minor Institute Farm in Chazy, and last Friday she was the center of attention, being showered with love and kisses. I think I'm in love. <laughs> and all joking aside, there was a reason all these folks lined up for a smooch. It's ironic that this cow's name was Alice, because that, that name has of course, great meaning to the Minor Institute, um, but also it's a really important program that we have to help low and moderate income working families. The United Way of the Adirondacks raised nearly $7,000 to help people in the region who are at risk of becoming homeless. 7000 may not sound like a lot, but the United Way says it can be used to leverage tens of thousands of dollars to help families struggling to pay their rent or mortgage or back taxes. You might be surprised how many people in our region are this far away from becoming homeless. Because in our region, homelessness looks very different than it does in an urban area, where you have this vision of people on the street because they're homeless. It's different here. It's a rural area. Um, and you don't necessarily see people out on the street because they're homeless. We do have some of that, but you don't see that as often as you would in an urban area. But what you might not realize is how many people are at risk of becoming homeless. Families who fall into the Alice category in many cases have jobs, but are living paycheck to paycheck and often struggle to make ends meet. Being on the verge of losing their home is nothing new, but it's something that's gotten much worse during the pandemic. And you never know when you're gonna need help. You think life is going in a certain direction, you turn around the next corner and you find that you or a friend or a neighbor or a relative has a need that was unanticipated. And our network is there to provide these services. The money will help people like Sharon Deschamps from Katieville. I think it's wonderful. I think it's very wonderful to have organizations like this that can help people that need it, you know? And especially in the pandemic where they've lost jobs, not only one parent, but both. I recently lost my husband um, from a long illness and I, I didn't have anywhere to, to turn. And I called and they were wonderful. They were absolutely wonderful. There are a lot of great people out there and great organizations and businesses that step up here for people time and time again, even in the middle of a pandemic. Hang on, Billy. 